Hello friends, today we will discuss about different bony points around the skull. Now first, the most commonly you have the two questions, one is the terion, another is asterion. So where you will find the terion? Now when you will see the normal lateralis, in this normal lateralis, in the anterior part, you will have this area and this area is known as terion. Now in this area, there are the meeting of four bones. From this upper part, you will have the contribution of the parietal bone. From the front, you will have the contribution of the frontal bone. From the back, you will have contribution of the temporal bone. And from the below, you have the contribution of your greater wing of sphenoid. Now here, you will have this H-shaped structure. And this H formation is known as the terion. Now this has the clinical importance. Here, the bone is very thin. So what will happen whenever there is a trauma deep to this terion, you have the middle meningeal artery. So the frontal branch of middle meningeal artery which is running deep to this bony plate will get rupture and it will lead to the extra dural hemorrhage. So this is the very important question for your exam. What is terion and identify the area. So this is the terion. Now in the normal lateralis you have the next feature and this is known as asterion. Now this asterion is located in the same normal lateralis view but in the posterior part. Now this uh, asterion is a meeting point of three bone. One is the occipital bone. Then you will have the parietal bone and temporal bone. Now this asterion is having an important relation on inner side with the sigmoid and transverse dural venous sinuses. Now here on both these points, you have the fontanelles in the fetal skull. This is known as anterolateral fontanelle and this is known as posterolateral fontanelle or mastoid fontanelle. Now apart from that, you have more points like basion. Now what is basion? Now when you will see the norma basalis, you will have the foramen magnum. Now this is the foramen magnum. Now in this foramen magnum, this is the anterior border of foramen magnum. Now this point between the two condyles. Now these are the two condyles. Now this is the anterior arch of the foramen magnum. Now the midpoint of this foramen magnum, this middle point of the uh, anterior border of foramen magnum is known as basion. Now apart from the basion, you will have the two points which are present on the mandible in the lower part. One is known as nathion. Now in this nathion, what is the nathion? Now when you will see this base of the mandible, this midpoint of the uh, lowermost base, this midpoint is known as nathion. Now just above this nathion, you will have one more point is known as pogonion. Now what is pogonion? Pogonion is just above this black dot which I have marked here is known as pogonion which is just above this nathion. Now pogonion is referred as the most forward point. When you will see the lateral view, this point is the most forward point of this bony mandible. So what is the difference? This is the midpoint in the base of the anterior part is known as nathion. And just above the nathion, you will have the most forward point of the mandible is known as pogonion. Now apart from that, you will have this point which is known as angle of the mandible if you will draw a vertical line along the posterior border and horizontal line along the base of the mandible both of these points will intersect here and this point is known as gonion so gonion is the angle of the mandible where you have the intersection of the posterior vertical line and the horizontal line along the base of mandible now apart from that anteriorly you will have the two point, one is known as nasion, another is known as renion. Now what is the difference between the nasion and the renion? Nasion is the point where you will have this meeting of the upper part of internasal suture with the frontal bone. Now here you can see that there are two nasal bone on both the side. So between them you have this internasal suture. But you will stress this in the upper part, it is going to meet with the frontal bone. So this point is known as nasion. Now when you will go downward, now in this downward, this point 
is known as rhenion. Now below the rhenion, you will have the articulation with the nasal cartilage. So rhenion is the lower point of this internasal suture, while the nasion is upper point of this internasal suture. Now the next point comes is in the uh, this is the intermaxillary suture. Now this lower point of intermaxillary suture is known as prostheon. So where is the prostheon? Now this is the prostheon and this point can also marked as a midpoint between the upper incisor teeth. So this point is known as prostheon. Clear? Now next point is ovalion. Now where you will find the ovalion? Now when you will see the suture on the norma uh, verticalis, you will have this suture. It is known as sagittal suture. Now on both the side of the sagittal suture, you will find the parietal foramina. So here you can see this is the parietal foramina. Now the point between the parietal foramina, this point of the sagittal suture between the two parietal foramina is known as ovalion. Clear? So in this way, you have to keep this thing in mind because these points can be asked as a spotting or in your viva exams on the skull. So this is all for this class. Thank you.